How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at some easy to install plugins for the Steam Deck. So I've used plugins like ages ago uh, on the Steam Deck anyway, about two months ago, one month ago, to do like power tools on the deck, which makes the Wii U kind of run a little bit better. But for some reason I haven't really looked into them again since recently when I saw some people using a few plugins which are really cool. I think my friend told me about one which was called Vibrant Deck, which I'll show you as well. And instead of you having to mess about with like a reshade, it literally is a plugin built into the deck, which you can just increase the saturation, decrease the saturation on the screen, mess about with the colours. It's kind of what I want Valve to implement eventually, but they haven't done that yet. But thanks to some nice guys who have made the, uh, the plugin, we can get on that. So yeah, today I want to show you some plugins and how to, how to install it where to go for plugins from the plugin store and just generally any information about plugins that you might need uh, as far as the ones I've used anywhere, so yeah. So welcome back guys, as you can see, I'm on the home of my Steam Deck. Mine looks a little different. I've got some different plugin features going on at the minute. Um, I'm obviously gonna show you how to install plugins first and then we can get into using it and uh, how it looks just in general. I've got, as you can see, I'm messing about with a few theme settings here. I've got kind of like an Indigo theme going on, which I quite like. And I've got the box arts a little bit rounded. So this can all be done through plugins. Uh, and it's a plugin called Decky. And I'll show you how to install that. So to start with, we're going to go to settings. Go to system. And you need to enable developer mode. And once you've enabled developer mode, yeah, right at the bottom here, you may need to restart after developer mode. I'm not 100% sure because I did enable this a while ago, but if in case nothing shows up down here, restart the device, should we come back in here, developer mode will be enabled. So once you've got, gone all the way down to developer, you want to enable CEF remote debugging, and that'll allow Decky, which is our little uh, plugin manager, to enable the plugins, basically. So once this is enabled, restart the device and go into, you click power, there you go, switch to desktop, and then we can mess about. It's, it's a little bit tricky if you haven't done anything like this before in the background, but I'll talk you through it, it isn't too hard. As you can see, I recently was trying to get a Bully Scholarship Edition working with a silent patch. It does work. You just have to put a, a line of code in so in order to enable and install the plugin manager, you need to go to bottom left down here and you need to find your terminal manager, which is on the Steam Deck is called console. So if you go to all applications and scroll to console, here it is. And what you need to put in here is a line of code. And if you copy the link, uh, the code I have on the screen now or in the description, it's a lot easier just to copy and paste from the description. So if you copy and paste from the description and put that in here using a keyboard or just by right clicking and clicking paste and press enter, you'll be required to put your password in. If you haven't set a password, what you need to do is open the keyboard and just literally say pass W D press enter. And if you haven't set a password, it'll ask you to set one. Set something you'll remember. It's very important you remember this because it's a pain in the ass if you forget it. So if you put the password in, then you re-follow the step where you paste in your plugin, download link. You plug that in there and it asks you the password. You put your new password in that you've set. And once that's finished installing, click X and literally just return to game mode. And I think you'll be required to restart your device as well. So you might as well just click restart in the bottom left, uh, return to game mode if you want, and then restart the device as well. So now that we're back on the home screen here, if you press your three buttons here, open up this little panel, you should have a little plug in the bottom of this panel. And this is basically your plugin manager. It's called Decky. And if you click the cog here, you can check for updates on actual Decky itself. And if you want to install plugins, you literally just need to click here, store icon, and then you'll get into, as long as you're connected to the internet, of course, you'll get into the plugin manager. The plugin manager I'm using mainly at the moment is Vibrant Deck. So if you click A on this and install it, it'll install the newest version. And also I'd recommend you to install, I've got Proton D DB badges, so it kind of tells you for games gold rated, so it's easy to run on the deck, etc. Just kind of like having that in the corner. Not a massive major thing that you need though. 
I also managed to get themes on the deck um, and general colour changes by using the CSS loader. So if you install that as well, just to have it in case you want to change the colour. So once you've installed them, they'll appear here. Vibrant deck is very self-explanatory. It's amazing. It might not be colour accurate, but it doesn't necessarily make a difference because you kind of want the games to look a bit more colourful. I know the deck screen is a little bit worn out. So if your desaturation is normally on 100 for the Steam Deck, is that's default. So if you set this to 155, it just brings the colour out a lot more in the games. Um, I'll show you an example of Bioshock Infinite here. So as you can see, Bioshock Infinite, I don't really need to go into the gameplay. As you can see, it's quite a colourful scene anyway. If we click the three buttons on the left is if you're going to change the TDP or look at any other setting in the game. We have one down here, which is our plugin manager. Vibrant Deck is already open. If you click this down to 100, this is originally what uh, the deck looks like. If I just adjust the uh, exposure on my camera here, as you can see, it automatically changes the vibrancy. Unlike Reshade, which ha you have to like manually do by using keyboard commands. And a lot of the time it didn't even appear in game. That was a massive problem I was having. Um, if you watch my other video on how to make games vibrant, you'll see that Reshade was a bit of a pain in the ass to get working. But this plugin definitely helps make games look a little bit prettier. As far as colour goes, yes, I understand, guys. It's not the most colour ac accurate thing ever to do. Um, I normally play at 155. I think this is like a nice balance between saturated but not too much because I think you can get very saturated very quickly using this. Like if you put it up to like 200, it's like over the top saturated. Everyone looks red. It just looks weird. 100, 155 is a really nice balance, I think. And yeah, it just makes everything look a lot nicer. Uh, this The Steam Deck's display is, is not massively colour accurate anyway, so... As you can see, immediately changes. It's so like much more desaturated. If I go to 155 now, it just adds a little bit more color to the scene. And I've actually really enjoyed playing games a lot more with this bit of color, color uh, saturation. Like I say, I know it's not the most accurate thing ever, but it just makes the games look a little, pop out a little more. That's Vibrant Deck anyway. So yeah, one of the main reasons I use Decky is for Vibrant Deck. It works in any game. It literally works on your home screen, so it's really useful. Um, another one I use, Proton. As you can see, it's got a gold ring for Bioshock Infinite there. It's a nice little visual cue. And Vibrant Deck, CSS Loader, is literally a, a Steam skin-like kind of manager. So at the minute, I've got my main colour, which is Indigo. You can literally just change the colour of this one. Uh, I know a lot of people do like the black one. So it makes the Steam Decks like have a black kind of theme. And I like that, but it highlights my uh, panel issues a little bit more. You know, like the uh, inconsistency in the screen brightness behind the screen. You know, screen bleed a little bit. So I like to have a little bit of colour at the back. So at the minute I've been rocking the Indigo, which I quite like. And so if you go manage themes first... This one is the, there's a lot of themes you can use. Uh, people have made like Wii themes, static backgrounds you can set, whatever you want. There's like quite a lot of stuff you can mess about with, but because of the Steam UI has a lot of images from the games you're playing anyway, I don't bother with that. I kind of just stick with the Obsidian theme, which lets you change the color. So, And this round tab as well, which is very cool. So if I get rid of this, you can see the box arts have a very square look. And I think the round kind of just looks a little bit nicer. It kind of rounds off the box arts a little bit. Not massively so, so they're like circular, but you can change that in pixels. So if I go 30, they're extremely rounded. I mean, that kind of ruins a lot of the box arts. So for me, five pixel roundness was, was a very nice like little balance between too round and too sharp. As you can see, it does it in here as well. But yeah. You can change this at any time, you know, spice up your Steam Deck a bit more. It's just better than it being default. I guess it gives it a bit more personality. So there you go, guys. That's the plug-in loader. You can mess about with some more 
power tools is also good and then you've got def uh, deck faqs so that kind of pulls up game it loads your library into it and it kind of like pulls up game faqs and it's kind of quite cool really if i just go on like that go to garden walkthrough it literally opens up one of like a, a game guide <laughs> I don't know why you need to use this. You could just pull your phone out and look at a YouTube video or something, but I don't know. I thought it was quite cool that you could have a little FAQ guide whenever you want it, as long as you're on the internet. But yeah, let me know if you guys are enjoying these uh, these plugins. I honestly didn't even know about them until recently. Um, but yeah, they definitely make the games look a lot nicer and just make the, make the UI look a bit more, you know, personalised. So yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll speak to you guys soon.